Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast. It is the 17th of May, and it's 6.01 p.m. here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, untimely news. Bitcoinist.com, Venezuela, and Russia may switch to ruble after trying Petro cryptocurrency. Um, anyway, uh, so it's uh, another Friday, and uh, we had a sell-off uh, earlier in the day, earlier in the Universal Day, uh, about... About 20 hours ago or so, uh, big 20% drop, and uh, and so right now we're kind of like uh, consolidating, uh, sort of like not really consolidate, more like a, is we're kind of like ranging in a really small range between 72.49 and 74.16. Well, consolidating for Bitcoin, you know, um, the you know the the volatility for Bitcoin. Anyway, uh, we're looking at Bitcoin, U.S. dollar on Bitfinex on the one hour chart. And uh, we're going to get started here with the stream. Uh, Please remember that anything that you hear. Whoa, that's too bright. Uh, Anything that you hear on the podcast is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. All that. See the disclaimer for more details. So uh, let's start out by just taking a quick look at the market uh like i said uh we're mostly in the red uh so uh yeah bitcoin at 8.11 percent 7.88 percent fluctuating but um i was looking at uh coin market cap a little while ago and uh and there is a standout uh it's adam or uh i think cosmic i'm not i'm not familiar with it but it was like four points up i i I can't find it right here on, on the on the heat map but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. So, uh, let's move on. Uh, So we're gonna do the the squawk first today uh, and get it out of the way. Uh, And then uh, we'll uh, include a couple more details once we get into the top 10. Uh, So coming in at 20th is Neo trading at 10 and 97. Nam in at 19th trading at 8.6 cents ethereum classic and at 18th trading at 7 and 13 cosmos was the standout it was like three and a half points earlier it looks like it's 2.45 points up uh as of now uh cosmos is atom on the ticker uh and it's trading at four dollars and 38 cents bsv in at 16th trading at 59 and 34 iota and at 15th trading at 38 cents tezos in at 14 trading at 1 and 66 dash in at 13th trading at 134 and 87 monero in at 12th trading at 80 and 45 and tron in at 11th trading at 2.6 cents so uh moving into the top 10 now uh cardano ada coming in at 10th by market cap trading at eight cents that's down 9.04 points on the day stellar xlm in at ninth by market cap trading at 12 cents down 8.93 points on the day tether usdt in at eighth trading at 99 cents that's down a tenth of a percentage point on the day binance coin bnb in at seventh trading at 25 and 27 down 3.36 percent on the day eos by the same symbol in at sixth by market cap trading at five and 96 that's down 8.83 points on the day litecoin ltc in at fifth trading at 88 and 21 down 7.85 points on the day bitcoin cash uh bch uh, we might see some blurbs about about roger ver and craig wright here in a little bit on the news um, coming in at fourth by market cap, trading at 363 and 28, and that's down just over nine points on the day. XRP in at third, trading at 38 cents, down 9.25, nine, nine and a quarter points on the day. Uh, Ethereum ETH uh, in at second by market cap, trading at 238 and 29, and that's down 9.66 points on the day. And Bitcoin, of course, BTC in at first, trading at $7,241.38. That's down eight. And two tenths of a point. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, uh, Bitcoin's market cap right now it's at one hundred and twenty-eight point two billion, and um, and there seems to be some correlation between the the cryptos again. Earlier in the month, it didn't seem like we were getting that, uh, but but it seems like we're back there. So. Um, 
I was pretty excited about uh, some deviation happening across the uh, the cryptosphere, but it seems like that was short lived. Uh, at least for now, we still have Binance, we still have Doge. Now, um, so but we'll explore that a little bit later. Let's take a quick look at uh, trending stories over the last couple hours. Uh, six minutes ago from newsbtc.com. This time it's German politicians mulling a Bitcoin and crypto ban. Six minutes ago from Cointelegraph.com, Russian Sverbank demands client provide data on cryptocurrency revenue. Good luck with that. 17 minutes ago from CryptoGlobe.com, Ontology's new multi-chain design to complete to compete with Cosmos. Sorry. Uh, 37 minutes ago, Cointelegraph.com, cryptocurrency project OneCoin denies Ponzi and Pyramid scheme claims. BitConnect, anybody? 58 minutes ago from CryptoSlate.com, Roger Ver strikes back uh, at Craig Wright for libel suit. Yeah, those two can go at it with each other all day long as far as I'm concerned. One hour ago from Cointelegraph.com, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Okay, so this is a price analysis from uh, Cointelegraph. Uh, an hour ago, venture capital. I wanted to talk about this. One hour ago from uh, NewsBTC.com, venture capitalist improved fundamentals will help Bitcoin rocket towards its all-time highs in 2019. Whenever a venture capitalist... Uh, comments on price action not that I'm I, I'm not I, I mean I'm sure that they're doing their due diligence and all that uh, but uh, I, I just I, I don't know I don't know who the venture capital is I, I, I really the capitalist is I really don't care um, I'm sure they have a fair amount of knowledge of like you know, market analysis and stuff like that. But I mean, I just don't care. Like that's that's not uh, where their focus is. So, uh, you know, I do listen to to, to some analysts, uh, but um, but you kind of have to back test analysts too, right? Like, you guys, if you're really doing your due diligence and you're gonna um, rely on an analyst, you you kind of have to back test them just like you would any other strategy you really shouldn't base your strategy on an analyst it's uh it really is for informational and uh educational purposes it's not meant to be financial advice um in any case you should always do your due diligence i would tell myself to always do the due diligence uh, an hour ago from btcmanager.com bitcoin dump on Bitstamp exchange likely caused price slump. Uh, I haven't looked at Bitstamp. Two hours ago, uh, I'll skip that one. Two hours ago from newsbtc.com, US global investor CEO. Uh, Bitcoin is great, but millennials need to learn about gold. Oh God. I'm not saying that gold is, doesn't have its value, but um, you know, whenever some like old fart starts uh, lecturing millennials like i start i don't know i start wondering uh let's just take, take a quick look at the s p 500 closed earlier this we're looking at one month one month of the s p 500 so you can see uh there's been some volatility uh i'd say if you compare it to like say like the last few months um and last couple of years you can see that, you know, there was some 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 craziness in 2015, uh, some more uh, mid last year, and then this year has been absolutely ridiculous in the market. So, um, this is different from uh, what had been going on years previously. So, just be aware of that. <clears throat> so let's take a look at Bitcoin. Zoom way in here. So yeah, busy couple of months, huh? Um, I don't know how all these arrows got all jumbled up over here, but um, so uh, we started out with this run on the sixth of February, uh, and when we were zoomed way, 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 way down, uh, it looked pretty intense compared to what we had been going through. Um, 
Uh, but last uh, last few days, last week really has been in especially intense. And we're starting to retrace, right? And that's going to happen, especially when you have like unsustainable growth like this. I was waiting for it. I was like, I don't know about these these candles. What, what was that um, on the uh, 11th, I think? And the, yeah, 11th and 13th. Um, so... Uh, so we were traced and uh, we're gonna get down into like the hourly chart and take a take a look at that uh, but I just want to guys kind of give you guys like a bird's eye view of the market on the daily chart uh, we are uh, overbought on the MACD uh, if you're interested in that and it looks like we're getting ready to cross over with this last dump um, so yeah um, and also stochastics are overbought uh, let's take a look at the one hour so we can really kind of look and see what's going on here. So here's this uh, pump action that's been going on, and uh, we sort of sort of double topped out here up at 81.86, uh, and then of course uh, earlier in the day around one in the morning we we started dropping down. Uh, one in the morning UTC time. So that was about uh, I don't know uh, late last night in here in the United States. So. Always a lot of volatility late at night, you know, like 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Um, it seems to me uh, that there's always a lot of volatility there. Uh, and uh, and so, and of course, retrospe re retrospectively, you could have seen it if you were looking, you know, at, uh, uh, you know, I guess the pattern may have pointed to that there's a bit of a like a like a descending triangle with long wicks which points to uncertainty uh so so yeah and plus i mean guys it was overbought you know what i mean like i mean it was like like i said earlier unsustainable growth um i had this line of resistance drawn in starting back on the 4th of may and uh it it held for a long long time and it, and it only broke around the 10th of may when this this last like run that we had took off so uh, I went ahead and left it in I like to keep my charts clean although you wouldn't be able to tell looking at this and um, and so I left it in because um, like with flag patterns and 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 pole consolidations and stuff like that whenever we have a, a break to the upside or a breakdown uh, it's usually followed by some kind of pattern or consolidation or something like that. So I'm expecting for us to maybe continue ranging between 72.49 and 74.16 uh, approximately. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll probably have another pull in one direction or the other. So uh, the rule is, as far as I understand it is um, whatever direction the market was going in, before the poll um, is where the where the where the break will occur um, so long as like volume and price action and, and candle formation support it statistically um, I haven't checked all that uh, but uh, I've, I've seen it many times and uh, and so it kind of looks like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate on speculating but I went ahead and I left this this line of resistance in here this diagonal line of resistance uh, that we had marked back on 3 May and 10 May uh, because if we do happen to break to the downside um, uh, I'd be really interested in seeing how price action is gonna behave around that that ascending trend line um, Alternatively, we may just kind of consolidate a range uh, until we run up against it, which at this rate would happen somewhere between uh, the 25th of May and, I don't know, uh, later in June. So, um, and uh, if, it, if, it, if it ranges or it, or it stays within that range for that amount of time, uh, with the fundamentals, that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. With with the fundamentals, 
um, where they've been and just all this adoption and, and stuff going on, I wouldn't be surprised if we continued our climb back upward. Uh, but I don't know, a lot of people are talking about uh, a breakdown to 6K. Uh, there's a lot of support down there, uh, right around like 6K, 5916, 6206 is another one. So there's, there's support at, that, at those levels. So uh, if we drop back down, uh, I'd be surprised if we break those supports. Um, but, uh, but there may be some turbulence here hanging out around you know, the 65 to 6800 level. So, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. May, there may be another like uh, uh, formation happening around there, or consolidation or something like that. So, uh, but we'll see, we'll see how things go. Uh, let's take a look at the headlines real quick over here on TradingView. Um, News BTC, this time it's German politicians. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that already. A lot, of, a lot of these are the same ones that we go over in Crypto Panic. And that's gonna do it for us today. I don't have much for you guys. Uh, this is the 50th episode of uh, Block Squawk, which means uh, I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny sabbatical uh, I've been trying to come back to you guys every week, but uh, uh, it may be that long. It may be a couple of weeks um, because when I come back, I'm going to try and, uh, well, I've already called myself out. So uh, I'm going to come back for like a 50 episode challenge, 50 conse consecutive episodes. So some of those episodes may be like cut and dry and easy as pie. Um, but, but I do want to make a ha at least a, like a consistent habit of coming back, showing the chart, talking about price action, and then just kind of uh, building some consistency that way. Just a personal exercise for me, but uh, you guys are welcome to, to join along for that. Uh, I'm on Twitter most of the time. You can follow me at Joel Benavides. Uh, also, uh, I have CryptoCapitalSA.com, uh, which I'll, I'll probably be getting JoelBenavides.com here shortly. And... Um, uh, later on tonight and then um, and then there is of course uh, uh, Facebook you can just uh, pull up block squawk on Facebook and so, but I'm hardly ever on there um, and that's gonna be it I don't have anything else for you guys um, you guys have a great evening good luck trading uh, and uh, and we'll see you guys on the flip cheers <laughs>